am back with another video in today's video i'm going to be taking you on a day when i have anatomy so as you saw i woke up at like five i actually woke up at half past four but i kept procrastinating to get out of bed because i was just like too tired to get up and then i continued with my studies i was not studying i was busy doing a tutorial from last year because today i have dissection so i was just practicing on that tutorial hopefully some of the questions that were in this tutorial will be in that tutorial and i'll be able to like answer them properly let's cross our fingers and hope that today is not a disaster oh my god like i'm nervous because i'm scared that i'm doing all of this work like doing this whole tutorial and like nothing that's on this tutorial will be in today's tutorial and like i'm gonna go there and look dumb and fail but positive mindset positive mindset okay so it's currently half per seven so i've been here for like two and a half hours and i have class at eight so i want to do my exercises now and then i'm gonna take a shower quickly and then start my classes so yeah i'll see when i start my classes because i'm too shy to show myself exercising so i'll see you guys when i'm done and when i'm about to head to class so i just got done showering and it is now nine o'clock yeah i know i'm like an hour late to my class so i'm thinking i'm just gonna continue with my trial that i was doing just to pass time because if i join the class now honestly i'm gonna be so confused and won't be productive at all so i think i'm just gonna do my tutorial and then there's a next class on the back the class that is happening now is the embryo <laughs> the embryology of the vertebra columns that means i'll just have to like watch it later okay i'm lying i don't think i'll watch the lecture i'm gonna find like youtube videos that will like sum it up i've been finding like videos from this other channel called, called lecturial they give you a lecture of 30 minutes summarizing what the lecture taught us in like six hours so yeah I think I'll try and find that lecturial um, lecture on the vertebra. If I don't, then I'm going to be forced to, when I come back from dissection, to do the this thing, to watch the lecture. But yeah, let me get, let me do my tutorial and try and do more of it to prepare. I got this cute little thing, but, got this cute little thing. But I don't have the batteries on it, so I have to like manually change it. So this is the date. The time's not working. I'm going shopping this weekend and I want to look for batteries. Yeah. Tuesday. Tuesday the 16th. I also forgot. I have to take my medication now. I have to take my nasal spray and asthma spray. And these vitamin D and C pills that my dad gives to us because since the whole pandemic starts just to boost your immune system so I take these Thank you. 
just arrived in my room right now from campus and from dissection um it is now like 10 to 6 the last time i checked was 10 to 7 probably like 8 to 6 but 2 6 basically so i am back from dissection i am so tired i'm so exhausted last night i only slept like four hours because i was busy doing like the tutorial from last year for the dissection today so we we're doing the osteology of the scalp and the the bones of the vertebrae and the bones of the vertebrae yeah and the vertebrae column basically we we're, were doing the strategy of those so we recently when we do anatomy we don't dissect um we're not we're not going to dissect this year because apparently when we dissect it takes too long to dissect so um they don't because of covid and everything they don't want us to, they don't want us to be in the dissection hole for that long um due to covid restrictions so when we get there we get the like things already dissected and we just absorb them and then answer questions but with this one we didn't work with cadavers we just worked with bones so we just go there and then we write a tutorial basically uh they don't explain anything it's not like a class like we have um the structure of tutorials like the structure of dissection so far is not like a class per se we just get there and then we divide into groups and then on the table they're like okay you guys have like an hour and a half to complete that tutorial so then we have to it's an open book test basically that's what this tutorial we're allowed to use our laptops our atlas and our textbooks to find the answer and we can also ask help from the tutors and they do help us so it's not that big of a deal it's not really a test test but it's a test that's what we were doing and yeah i think i think my group did well we don't know the marks but uh some of the questions that were in last year's tutorial that i was doing and like finding answers for were in the tutorial of this year so that was fun that was nice because at least i knew some answers there and i didn't have to like search the whole time so yeah i finished at what time did i finish at half past three and then i went to the library and printed out my i printed out powerpoints from my past lectures the lectures that i had and yeah that's all i did and then i took like the five o'clock bus and yeah took the five o'clock bus and now i'm here dressed and i am so tired bro i'm so tired and i still have like so much work to do today i still need to go over today's lectures and try and, and try and grasp the concept of today's lectures summarize today's lectures and then i need to do prep for tomorrow and tomorrow's poem so I need to do like pre-reading. I try and do like pre-reading for poem and stuff like that. It makes it easier for me. Like when I do like pre-reading, if I know we are doing what are we doing tomorrow? We are doing anemia, the anemia lesson four to six. So the slides are already up. So it just helps me to just like go through the slides and try and understand them myself. And then like when it's lecture time, it's not like a shock to me because I'm not seeing these things for the first time. Whereas when I just went there, like today, today I didn't do any prep for my, um, what's it called, my lectures because I was busy with the preparing for the tutorial and I didn't get time to prepare for my lectures. So while I was attending my lectures, I was just lost and I didn't know anything because I was hearing things for the first time and then they got complicated at some point. I actually passed out. I fell asleep. I don't know for how long. I think I fell asleep for like 30 minutes during my anatomy lecture on the muscles of the back. Oh my gosh. So I have to catch that up as well. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that's my update. I'm tired. My brain is sore. I think I'm going to eat now because I haven't eaten since 12 p.m. Hi guys, so I actually woke up at 10, I passed out, I didn't hear my alarm, and I didn't hear it, so I woke up like 
now 10 o'clock so i'm behind so that means i'm not gonna sleep the rest of the night i'm gonna try and work until like what's this time until like four tomorrow morning because i don't think i'll be able to get everything done before midnight like i mad at myself and i knew that if i slept i might not wake up but like i was so tired so yeah okay let me go study i'll check in with you guys later Engineers, in this video today, we are going to be talking about the development of the skeletal system. Before we get started on this video, please continue to support us by hitting that like button, commenting down in the comment section, and please subscribe. Also, down in the description box, we'll link to all 2 a.m. and I'm still here. I'm not even done with today's work, but I have to prepare for today basically because it's Wednesday already. So I have to prepare for today's class and then it means I'll continue with yesterday's work either weekend or if I find time tomorrow today after I do today's work but I, I did as much as I could I watched the ninja nerds explanation on the embry embryo embryology of the skeletal system which he made sense i like watching his videos because he makes like the lecture or the stuff seem fun and like he's a very energetic he's a cool dude i suggest if you're doing uh, medicine first year second year like check out his videos his name is ninja nerd the channel's name is ninja nerd yeah, I'd really uh, recommend him. I learned some stuff. I'll have to watch the video again some other time just to like memorize the stuff because this was the first time I watched it, so I was getting like new information, so it's still not stuck in my head. So I need to like repeat that and repeat it until it gets stuck in my head. And then I try to do some primal pictures like. That is cold. Let me show you. Let me show you. This is, as you can see, this is Primal Pictures. So our my institution has like a license with Primal Pictures. Um, it's like an um, anatomy studying thing. Um, website, the skeletal system. So what's nice about it, uh, I'm still working on it. Like, it shows you the whole skeletal system and stuff. And then when you, like, put your mouse on it, it tells you what part of it is it. The clavicle, the rib, sixth rib, and all of that. And then there's, like, topics about the skeletal system, which you can review. It. Here's the microanatomy of the bone, the gross anatomy of the bone... The gross anatomy of the bone and then here you can see all the veins and arteries then as again when you like click on it you can see which one they're talking about and then does it give you a description no it just highlights it and then you can zoom in zoom in zoom in zoom in zoom in and zoom out i'm still also trying to figure out how to use it they did give us a tutorial on how to use it but i forgot and then they give you like learning objectives and then here's like a little summary of everything you need to learn and there's this thing called visual structure i was doing the one for the embryo embryonic bone formation and when i clicked the bottom part there it gave me like a test yeah, there's also quizzes, like assessments here and quizzing here. So I was trying to do the quiz on embryonic bone formation. And I got 25% the first time. And then I got 75% the second time. Um, yeah, I failed the first time. 
Yeah, so uh, that's what I was doing. Um, it is now quarter past, basically quarter past two. Planning on sleeping at 4 a.m. And then, yeah. I don't know why I'm adding this in, but I just thought it would be interesting to show you, like, the tools that I'm using to study and stuff. Mm -hmm.